My F-31, husband, M-34, has a secret side to him that I knew nothing about. Sorry, long word vomit. I'm just lost. I just got married less than three weeks ago. He is the love of my life. Literally everything was perfect. He's sweet, doting, caring, sensitive, loving, we are so in love and blissfully in our legitimate honeymoon phase. We've been together for two years. Not once in that entire time period did I ever have even an inkling that he might be hiding something from me. Our communication is great, we never fight. We both know each other's passwords to everything, there is nothing to hide. We got our wedding pictures back this week. He has a much better laptop than me, so one morning before work I went on his Gmail to open the pictures email from our photographer. When I opened his Gmail I saw in the sidebar that he had sent a hangout request to someone whose name I did not recognize. We know everyone in each other's lives, so this was extremely odd to me. I searched the name in his mail search bar and only one email chain came up. Three messages one from him, thanking this person for chatting with him the night before. The person responding just saying, hey, husband's name, and him emailing him a week later saying, hey how have you been? New pic today, with a selfie attached. This exchange was a month before our wedding. I thought this was very weird. Like, nothing bad was said between them. But where had they spoken previously that he was referring to? And why send a selfie? That implies other pics had been sent. No. I tried not to overthink it. Read. I cried all day at work. He was off that day so I couldn't do anything more but put on a front like nothing was wrong. I absolutely thought about just bringing it up, but I figured if it was nothing at all, he'd be upset I broke his trust by snooping. The next morning, before I went to work and while he was still asleep, I decided to check in his phone. Nothing in messages, no calls, nothing in social media. I knew I was missing something. Finally, buried at the bottom of his list of apps, was a Google Voice app. I clicked it and found what I had been looking for. Tens of messages between him and multiple people, sending nudes, talking about sex in very graphics ways, saying, great chatting last night, etc. I couldn't bring myself to look at more than two or three messages before I shook him awake and handed his phone to him and collapsed onto the floor in sobs. I was absolutely mind-boggled, confused, heartbroken. I let him explain when he asked to. He's been a member on FetLife, which I did not know was a thing, for years. He likened it to Facebook for people with fetishes or who like BDSM stuff. He said he started using it well before he met me, but has continued using it for our entire relationship. He said his use comes in spurts, and he can and has gone months at a time without going on. He has difficult sleep patterns which sometimes lead to insomnia bouts, and he said that when this happens, his demons come out so to speak. He's never met up with anyone from the site, and I believe him for many reasons, but mostly because we are together all the time and he wouldn't have even had the opportunity. We've never had issues in any part of our relationship. Our emotional connection is stronger than any I've ever had. Our sex life is great and regular. I asked him about both of these things yesterday, and he said it wasn't about either of those. His words were, I have had this problem for a long time. I think I wanted you to find out, and I'm relieved that you did. I know he does love me and I know he wants to repair this. He called off work yesterday and we spent the day talking, crying, driving to get our heads clear, just trying to process. I absolutely adore him and I'll do anything to help him and our relationship. I guess I'm having a hard time reconciling the fact that the man I know and this man that I discovered are the same person. My own mind has already separated him and compartmentalized things. I know I do this any time something terrible happens. I'm grateful my mind has a defense mechanism so I'm not drowning in pain, but I also do not want to pretend like this isn't real or didn't happen. It just feels like there's my husband and then there's this other guy pretending to be my husband. I don't know him. I don't like him. This is so insanely out of character that my mind refuses to even acknowledge that it could be the same person. I don't know where to go from here. He wants to try everything therapy, schedule and lifestyle changes, deleted everything, only after asking me if I wanted to see everything or not. He says he wants to be held accountable, and he's scared of losing me. I'm scared too and I will absolutely do anything to help. I'm just mentally I'm just lost. I don't know how to feel, what to say, what to think. I'm mad at myself for being so naive and I'm mad at myself for not even considering leaving. He is my love of my life, and I'll do anything and work through anything. I know he wants to change and wants to fix things. I do too. I just don't know where to even begin. Too long did not read. Husband on fetish social media. Talking to others and sending nudes for I don't even know how long. 
but at least longer than the two years we've been together. He never hinted about anything and I've never had reason to suspect. Don't know how to mentally accept it and move forward. My cheating ex did the same thing FetLife, random phases of emailing and messaging, wanting me to find out. It was all manipulation tactics to keep me in line while he did what he wanted. Your husband is unfaithful, this will not change as your marriage progresses. He is testing the waters to see how you react and will only progress in his discretions. You need to cut bait and move on, leave this man to his kinks and internet friends. He cheated on you. He lied to you. He can claim he wanted you to know all he wants, but if he actually wanted you to know, he would have told you. He's doing damage control right now and you're choosing not to hold him accountable. It's your marriage. You can do what you want, but do it without hiding your head in the sand. Hey, everyone. No relationship is perfect. If you think it is, that means you don't know everything in the relationship. It's okay to want to make it work, and it's also okay to be tremendously hurt. Both of those things are understandable and absolutely okay. Try not to be mad at yourself, you've done nothing wrong. No one on here knows you, him, or your relationship, so take everything said with a grain of salt. But yes, like many have said, get both couples therapy and individual therapy for yourself. There may be a tendency to focus on the relationship, but speaking from experience here, make sure you also focus on taking care of you. Sounds like a classic case of people who got married too fast. FetLife is not supposed to be a dating site, it's Facebook for kinky people. There are certainly lots of people looking to hook up there but it's also possible to enjoy the free amateur porn and not meet anyone. I would look into your legal options immediately. You may be able to get the marriage annulled. But the clock is ticking. Don't waste any time. If it's too late for an annulment, at least divorce is an option. Three weeks is generally still in annulment bounds. He misrepresented himself to marry you. Thus this is not what you signed on for. Divorce him. He lied to you throughout your entire relationship. He has never been faithful. I consider sexting and sending nudes cheating, and he abused your trust. He's an asshole. Leave him. So, what else is he lying about? Get an annulment, girl. You do not know the cheater you married don't succumb to the sunk cost fallacy and let this go for a miserable 5-1-0-1-5 years. Will you ever really trust him? He's an Olympic level liar. It doesn't matter how he feels about it. The fact is that he's been lying to you and hiding things from you for years. His crying about wanting to be held accountable sounds like he wants to make you responsible for monitoring him and that is a stressful mess you do not want or need. If he actually wanted to change this, he would have taken his ass to therapy years ago. He shouldn't have needed to get caught. He did not want you to find out, you had to look really really hard to find it. Get the two of you to marriage counseling immediately and insist he tell the full truth of how far this has gone. He cheated, plain and simple, and it may not be fixable. The two-year mark is where I learned about my last serious boyfriend's hidden dark side. I'll never marry anyone unless I've been with them for over two years and we've lived together for at least a year. I discovered a whole different side to the guy the first thought I knew when we moved in together at two years. I'm so sorry you're going through this. I understand how painful it is it sounds quite similar to my situation. Take care of yourself over the relationship. Yeah fuck this. He lied and cheated on you, even if not physically although I do doubt that, for your entire relationship and is only sorry as he was caught. He is going to consider you a doormat if you stay with him. I am so sorry this happened to you. This man is filth and obviously values sex over you. Okay, why are you focusing on the fetishes? That's a completely different thing. The point is that he cheated on you. He sexted and shared nudes with other people while dating you. He cheated on you. And it's not like it stopped after you got married either. He was still cheating on you, and would have kept cheating on you had you not found out. He's not two different people. He is one person who is a lying, cheating, and clearly very manipulative bastard. I'm sorry op, but please get your head out of your ass. He cheated on you. He's a cheater who is trying to cause you cognitive dissonance so that he can further manipulate you with impunity. This sound eerily similar to what my parents are going through. He might be a sex and porn addict. You need to decide whether this is something you're willing to work through with him. Honestly I'm so sorry this happened. Ouch. If I had this proof, I would be gone. He didn't tell you because he knew he would hurt you by telling you. Why can't people just be honest and stop playing with people's time? If you stay, therapy is a great idea. Open phone policy and transparency are a must. He's lost his right to privacy from you.
he needs to earn it back and, Imo, you're married so you should always be able to access his phone anyway. Okay but your husband cheated on you though. It's the same as having an affair. How would you handle that? He only wanted to be held accountable once you found out. He sure didn't care about that before then. He sounds like he's twisted on the inside if he can manage to do that to someone he claims to love. I'd leave if I were you. Fuck this guy. I'm all for trying to work things out when you can, but he's a liar, cheater, and now manipulator. He's guilty because he got caught. As hard as it will be to admit, maybe he's not the great guy you thought he was. The problem here is he lies. When someone lies it is because of something they cannot accept about themselves and there is also a need for outside validation he gets from this. Both of those things won't go away. Even if he doesn't do this specific thing again, I'd be worried it turns to something else. Gambling behind your back. Hookers. Debt. Consumate liars that can do this, that think it is okay, they don't change so easily. Getting caught makes it worse. He didn't come clean himself. This poor woman is in denial. Bless her heart. If you applied for a monogamous relationship from the start, this is just basically cheating. Op if this man truly loved you and felt guilty about his actions, then why didn't he tell you the truth from the beginning? If you hadn't used his laptop that day, then you were never going to find out about his lifestyle. I absolutely adore him and I'll do anything to help him and our relationship. Your husband, lied to you over and over cheated on you repeatedly trapped you in a marriage, with a liar, and emotionally manipulated you to a degree that borders gaslighting and got you to be sympathetic to again, his lying and cheating. I have kinks. I have odd sides that come out. And I've shared them with my partner because I respect him and his agency and independence to choose to be with me. I'd get a divorce. This is the real him. You've been W him for two years, well, this is the real man you got married to. I know you are hurting a lot but you need therapy for yourself, once you explore how you feel W this betrayal then you can make decisions but if I were in your shoes I'd get the faster divorce. He is the person pretending to be your husband. You're in love with someone who isn't real unfortunately. We have toast. Fat fingers on the buttons are not a problem. Fat fingers when I have to type a special request is definitely a problem. Why doesn't it have word suggestions like my phone? The cooks are always annoyed at our misspellings. I frequently ask them to try and type on it. It's not easy. Leave before you have kids. I would file for divorce. I don't care how much therapy you go to. This will always be in the back of your mind and you deserve better. I would probably suggest some kind of sex therapy to better your communication over this. Fetishes have its place in someone's life but when you're in a traditionally monogamous relationship, this needs to be discussed. I have an exhibitionist fetish and I do it anonymously over Reddit. My boyfriend knows of this and everything I do is within the bounds of what he is comfortable with. He hid a social fetish with and took away your choice to decide how much of it is comfortable with you. Feel like this has come up on my feed for a reason. My boyfriend and I have any amazing connection, and I've never found any evidence of cheating in his phone, but some things don't add up with him and I just can't quite put my finger on it. Could be a fetish. Annulment sounds appropriate here and will almost definitely be granted. I'd break up and leave a man who's been cheating on me for the entirety of the relationship. Him cheating cancels out whatever you think was good about him. He wasnt good to you. A good man doesn't cheat. Ignoring the fetish for a second because you don't even know what it is. Your husband has lied and cheated on you for your entire relationship. Accepting his fetish is the last thing on this list. This man has broken your trust. I see a lot of messages focusing on you exploring this fetish with him but you're still trying to process the betrayal. Having a fetish does not excuse sharing nudes and talking to people explicitly behind your back. There is a reason he kept it so hidden from you because he knows what he's doing is wrong. Op are you willing to forgive infidelity and work on your marriage? Start there. Annul the marriage. You got married too quickly, and you don't actually know the man you're married to. This is the perfect situation where I would personally nullify a marriage. It's been three weeks and I would just honestly start over after learning all that. He didn't trust you with his secret for years. It's almost like he enjoyed the cheating aspect. Forget whatever kinks, the cheating is the whole entire and only issue here. He kinda deserves to lose you Imo. First thing that comes to mind is that he has a thing for Dom, sub relationships and he's the sub. He was hoping you'd find out and wants to be held accountable. Honestly, that just sounds like a sneaky and untrustworthy way of coercing you into being his dom without informed consent. Dot. 
This is 100% something that should have been disclosed before he married you. For me, this would be a deal breaker. I think you put too much emphasis on the fetish. However, not once did you lose it over the fact that he is cheating on you with multiple people for the entire relationship. Who cares if he isn't meeting him IRL? Is this supposed to be the silver lining here? This isn't two dudes. He has cheated on you the entire time. He lacks respect for you and decided not to give you agency in the decision at all, despite how it would affect you. To most this is a deal breaker and they'd have already left. It isn't about the fetishizing, it's about his obvious lack of respect for you. At the very least, you need therapy for yourself first. And once you get sought through your own feelings, maybe try couples counseling if that is truly what you want though I have to be honest, I personally cannot fathom why. Honestly, from what you describe it has nothing to do with BDSM or FetLife in particular that's just the route he took to cheat on you. And I would consider sexting, sending nudes cheating. So I would stop focusing on the fetish part of this and more on the fact that he craved attention and validation from others. Now girl, I know you know better. Your husband has been cheating on you and lying to you for your entire relationship. He isn't two different people. He is one person, a cheater who knows how to lie and hide it. Please get your marriage annulled because this is not the end of his cheating behavior. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life sleeping next to a cheater? Your husband's fetish is cheating and lying. The issue isn't the fetishes it's the cheating. You can't move past or out of this until you recognize that. This is cheating, and he only apologizes because you found out. That's enough for me. You can watch porn of your fetish or involve your partner without cheating. Do not condone this. You've been married for less than three weeks to a patently dishonest and untrustworthy man. You need to act on that fact and not waste your life trying to fix or change another person. That is a fool's errand. I'm very sorry for your heartache op. Your marriage is new enough to get an annulment. Do it. He has cheated on you your entire relationship. This isn't about his fetish. This is about him being unfaithful to you from day one. Honey, no. He has lied to you and maintained a deep secret this whole time. He has hidden himself from you. You cannot fix this. He will always have this side to him, this side he wants to quash and is ashamed of. He is afraid this perfect life he has built is going to escape him. But the thing is, he has nothing to be ashamed of except the lie. It's okay to use FetLife. It's not okay to lie about it. Where he failed was to try to hide this aspect of himself out of fear and shame. You get to choose if this is part of him that works for you. He denied you that. Ultimately he isn't who you thought he was. You either have to burn it all down and start learning who he is authentically, or you walk away.